Marie Vivo Lega Ambienta, lovely. Have a report that you can get hold of. Are there copies here that have highlighted how bad the situation here? And there are vessels that have been subject to sanctions, but that notwithstanding, they've still gotten hold of the subsidies. So there's something wrong as regards the control mechanisms. I do hope that our meeting will be useful, heighten awareness, that there be more of a political will to come to grips with this illegal criminal activity. So we need to consolidate the controls at the European level, what we have to do, in my view, is to see to it that there's adequate punishment enforced by the member states. These laws have to be complied with. Illegal fishing is a global problem. And to be honest, we cannot face it alone. Illegal fishing is affecting all countries on all continents. So if we really want to put an end to IUU fishing worldwide, uh, we have to work, it, it will not be an easy task, of course, we have to work uh, through an international effort. Only by an international effort we can be sure that uh, we'll have some real success. So I have already an idea of what the next step should be, and I am determined to pursue it through the adequate regional fisheries organizations. In my opinion, we should adopt a worldwide catch certification system. So this will be the future, a fair trade in fisheries products. It will foster an international commitment to combat this crime and would uh, ultimately bring us closer to responsible fishing and sustainable world fisheries. What has the Italian state done? Very recently, there has been an amendment to law 963 which uh, proposes an extension of a suspension from uh, three to six months and uh, the withdrawal of a, a person's fishing permit if they re-offend. That's what uh, the Italian state proposed in 2010. Under Article 40 of the uh, EFF regulation, the Commission does have the power to ask for information from member states about the end beneficiaries of European Union funds. Amazingly, it doesn't appear to have done that. If the Commission is keeping its eyes closed to the problem, it means that people in this place, the European Parliament, are unable to talk about it because you don't have information to talk about the problem, to address it, which is what's meant to happen in this place. And the public doesn't hear about it. And civil society is unable to mobilise public opinion and get the story sufficiently high up in the political arena and the political agenda to make something happen to improve the situation. We have a number of, of, of good instruments at hand, in particular good if they are used, and, and they should all be used. There should be a, a clear shift in the, in the future financing regime, hopefully, from, from towards public services, and I think there's a clear, clear need, as, as shown by a number of these cases, to ensure full cross-compliance, and that not only ex post, but also, not only ex ante, but also ex post. This is our special report, 3 of 1993, uh, which found that, referred to similar problems that exist today, 20 years later. At the time, there was a level of overcapacity of the fleet of about 40%. Uh, decommissioning of vessels was problematic because the aid wasn't correctly targeted. There were difficulties to measure the uh, the power ratings of boats, which is one of the key measures of capacity, uh, and community aid wasn't being correctly targeted. And these are all criticisms that to some extent you can still make today, 20 years later. I believe subsidies play a decisive role in the way we are um, uh, trying to get our oceans as empty as possible. Um, there's a direct link between subsidies and overcapacity. I've seen it in my own country, the Netherlands, uh, where vessels were uh, taken out of, uh, out of business, but other vessels were modernized. Um, and the end result was that the capacity was even larger than before. 
please let us come up with a serious roadmap to get rid of all, not just in the fisheries uh, environment, but all environmentally harmful subsidies. They are going against other policies, and that is something that we shouldn't do, especially in these times where we don't have sufficient money at all.